welcome back. Uh, if you're having any kind of Bluetooth headset issues with your Rocket, this is going to be your video. If you guys are brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, uh, make sure you guys do leave me a comment below if you've actually played with any of this stuff. And if you enjoy the content, then smash that thumbs up. Okay. First things first. We're having issues with our Rocket headset. Um, so this is the first thing I would recommend. If you're having issues with the Bluetooth, power your headset down. Plug it in and charge it. Sometimes if it doesn't get a full charge, you might have some intermittent Bluetooth connectivity. So all you got to do is just turn it off, charge it, walk away, give it about an hour. Um, I, I recommend probably a couple hours just to get a full good charge just in case. Second thing is um, when you do put them on and you do go after your, you know, your, your, your power button, hold that power button for a few seconds. So one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. And there we go. Powered on. Typically with some of these headsets, it says like Bluetooth on, or it'll tell you like if it's if it's off or on and stuff like that. Um, so pretty simple when it comes to that. Now here's the next thing. When you do go to your phone, if you're going to your gaming headset, turn the console completely off. Just do a shutdown restart. Um, same thing with your phone if you're not able to find it. And then turn the Bluetooth back on. Make sure it is on scanning mode. Now, with some of these headsets, it does have a dedicated Bluetooth button. So mine's right here on the right side. So again, hold it for like three seconds. And you'll hear a notification that says Bluetooth scanning or Bluetooth on, something like that. So 1-1000, 2-1000, 3 It says pairing Bluetooth. Um I'm on my phone. I'm going to hit scan again. I'm going to come to the bottom and there it is. Sin max air. Now with your gaming console, um, you might get something like pair or something like that. You might get a notification. Just make sure you do hit pair and then it'll be there at the top. Mine says paired and I am good to go with your gaming console. It's going to be something very, very similar. When you get it, make sure you do pair it. Um, if it looks like it was already there on that list, then what I would recommend is go in there, find it, do forget or do uh, unpair. And that way it disconnects, it deletes it, it just gets rid of it from your console, your computer, whatever it is. And then that should help um, refresh the connection. Other than that, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, pretty easy to reconnect some of these Bluetooth devices. Um, and if you have any issues outside of that where you're just like, hey, I have a different headset or I have something different, um, those steps are going to be pretty similar like across the board on any headset out there when it comes to Bluetooth stuff. So, um, yeah, the good thing about this, too, I didn't even think about it. You could, you could use this thing for a fire stick also so <laughs> pretty nice um let me know what you guys think i try to get you guys all the latest and greatest stuff there so um yeah let me know leave me a comment below with all that being said you guys take care take care of each other and i'll see you guys in the next one